What's up, family? If you haven't, hit that thumbs up and also subscribe and join the family if you haven't. If you're already part of the family, welcome back. So at this moment, we're going to discuss the viewership of Caitlin Clark as she had hit a all-time high, 2.2 million viewers, and we're going to talk about how this is going to be moving forward without Caitlin Clark being in the playoffs. Make sure you guys really tap in with me. Like I said, hit that subscribe button and come join the family. So Caitlin Clark helps deliver an historic 2.5 million viewers and final game of rookie season. And as you guys know, Caitlin Clark has been eliminated. And as you guys know, I became a fan of the WNBA in general because of Caitlin Clark. Now, guys, this is going to be a gut-wrenching moment for the WNBA as Kathy Engelbert is about to figure out why is it beneficial for you to support the product of the game now we know this is a faulty ran business in the in the league or a faulty ran business league that has been built off of the back of the men and the NBA. And this is something that in my opinion, I think the league has screwed up because they didn't allow the game to grow enough to support other teams. What do I mean by that? I mean they did leave Kaylin Clark off the Olympics. They allowed her fan place fan base to only support her because of all the racist things that were going on in the court, and we're going to call it how it is, the lack of protection. So majority of the fans in the viewership were Caitlin Clark fans, fans and fans that provided the viewership going forward. And it's going to be very, very, very hard for any other playoff round besides the championship. Well, we'll see how many, we'll see how many views the championship will get, I should say in comparison to Caitlin Clark's final playoff game. But besides that, no one has interest in watching the sport because of how they did the product, which metaphorically I'm speaking of, and when I say product, is Caitlin Clark, right? You don't have aggressive ownership in this league of the WNBA. Uh, commissioners like Kathleen Engelbert, she's player-friendly. She doesn't want to offend the sisters. So what does she what does she do? She let her emotions get in the way of good business, and that's not how you grow the bit the game. And you have to be smart enough to know that Caitlin Clark is the golden goose, and you protect that by any means necessary. So, check this out, family. As I scroll down to this article, I scroll down. Let's look at this. By comparison to last year's WNBA Finals game between the Aces and Liberty, averaged 728,000 viewers. And here I was thinking that would be even more than that. And that's crazy, guys. I would think it would be even more, the number, viewership-wise, number-wise. So this was the Finals. And I even researched this here on my own. And you guys can see that it says the Aces championship clinching win peaked at 1.8, 1.3 million viewers. The entire 2023 WNBA finals presented by YouTube TV on ESPN platforms have averaged 728,000 viewers. So it's shown that on ESPN, PS, ESPN platforms, so that is accurate. And that's crazy to me. You know, uh, you look at this guys earlier this year, the college women's national championship game, which fe featured Caitlin Clark, Iowa team going up against the undefeated South Carolina squad coached by Don Staley drew 18.7 million viewers. You know what I'm saying? And as you see it right here in the article and I highlighted for you guys that drew 18.7 million viewers. Now ask yourself, this was this little white girl, Caitlin Clark, playing in that game. And you better bet you're behind that she was playing in that game. Other than that, guys, this is going to be a wash. And I would not be surprised if this number increases or decreases viewership-wise when it comes to the rest of the playoffs and also the WNBA championship because of the new viewership that Caitlin Clark has brought, which thus maybe let's take, let's look at the WNBA schedule. Let's take 
today, September 29th, right? Let's take the Las Vegas Aces, for example. Maybe Kaylin Clark brought out new fans within their own community. So I would not be surprised if this spiked up the views. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's take the opposite approach. Kaylin Clark has now been booted from the playoffs because of lousy play from her teammates and some coaching, if I'm being honest. Um, this number could dr drastically decrease, and it could actually decrease out of spite. A lot of people are mad and offended uh, that Caitlin Clark got poked and got the eye poke of hell, and that means silent protesting for a lot of people who supported the WNBA because of Caitlin Clark. And now, if like I said, look at the WNBA schedule. We look at the current schedule. We have two face-offs, the Aces versus the Liberty, um, Versus the Liberty, September 29th, which is today. Um, and then you have you have the Aces versus the Liberty. And then you have the Sun versus the Lennox. That's September 29th, which is today. Now, guys, let's keep our eyes on the viewership and the ratings so that we can come back and compare analysis with our da data, okay? And I'm curious to see how this is going to work. I'm curious to see what type of support support and viewership um, that the WNBA is going to get. Most importantly, I want to see how Kathy Engelbert is going to handle the criticism and uh, why these players can't profit even more money than they should be, but they all failed each other. The players who are hating and are bitter, um, the commissioner is not brave enough and woman enough to come out here and step up to these mean butch women. Kaylin Clark eliminating the first round. I mean, that's terrible business and I want to put this out there I don't want you guys getting things misscrewed in regards of there's nothing wrong with Kaylin Clark getting eliminated in the first round you just did not build on the substance is what I mean pretty much from a business perspective it's pretty much like you got rid of something that could have been managed in a way a better way to have so much momentum going towards the playoffs and you're going to instantly lose it and you're, you're going to instantly lose it, and I'm going to be here to see it, watching the viewers' viewership and the ratings. And I would love to hear you guys' thoughts, insight, and perspective down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join the family. Let me know what you guys are thinking as we keep our eye on these next two WNBA playoff games, and let's see how the viewership does. And um, just to add a little bit of context before I close, I'm just saying from a business perspective, that's like, for example, if you have something that's making your milk and honey and keeping your business rolling and bringing in the profit and income to feed your family, let alone you have way more than enough money to cover the cost to pay your employees even more, cover the cost within business insurance, you know, pay the bills within that business, um, pay your taxes, um, and have even more overflow, which then could incentivize you to be more profitable in allocating your funds elsewhere within marketing your player, the golden goose, such as Kaylin Clark. Why would you not do these things? Kaylin Clark wasn't even on the playoff cover. They put Kelsey Mitchell and no shade to Kelsey Mitchell. Great, phenomenal player. But come on, man. Come on. Ain't nobody going to stop their milk and honey when it comes to making their money and it's something that's working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So the WNBA just did horrible with that from a business perspective. And that's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, family, we'll see how the viewership goes. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.